Welcome to life, journey, glory. It's a glory day, church. I'm Theophilus Fernandez. Ten reasons how to experience God for yourself. How to experience God for yourself. Because when we get judged, we will be judged as an individual. I'm not about to say I am a liar, but you're gonna be judged as an individual. So it's better to experience God for yourself. Now I'm, I'm not telling you to, to be on an island by yourself. Because we need one another. And go to God. But ten reasons how to express God for yourself. No one. Being saved. Hallelujah. Studying the Bible. Yes. To experience God for yourself, you must study the Bible. Now this is ten S. You must study the Bible. I study the Bible. You study the Bible, not just reading the Bible, but you study line upon line, piece by piece. Here's a little, and there's a little. But also study show yourself approved of the God. A work man, a work woman, need not be shamed rightly, dividing the word of truth. Number two, being saved, hallelujah, and being baptized. Being saved, meaning, work to God, you be get baptized in water being saved so you must study number two you must be saved and saved not according to work if any man should boast but save is a gift from God God have to give you this gift you don't work for the gift it's already been given the only thing you do is, is accept it when you accept it you go down in the wonderful name of Jesus in Romans the sixth chapter if you need to know, to know more about the baptism is Romans 6 chapter verse 1 through 10 hey glory to God second one we must be filled not thrilled by the Holy Spirit yes we must be filled not thrilled by the Holy Spirit a lot of people they are thrilled by the Holy Spirit and they are not filled because when you are filled you have the, the nine characteristic of heaven the Holy Spirit in Galatians 5, 22 and 24. They talk about the first one is love, then joy, then peace, then long suffering, then gentleness, then goodness, then temperance, meekness. Against such there is no law. So you gotta be filled with the Holy Spirit. And go to God. Number, number, go to God. Number fourth reason, sanctify. We're being sanctified. We are set apart for God's service. Sanctify. You are sanctified. Anytime that you will experience God, you are sanctified. You are set apart for God's service. Hey, go to God. Set apart means that you, you, are, you are ready to serve God. You are different. Hallelujah. In serving God. Amen. Number fifth reason. Serving others with the gospel serving others with the gospel you are the Bible says glory to God he that with his soul is wise are you a wise soul winner how many people have you won to Christ hey glory to God hallelujah how many times you have witnessed about Christ so you are glory to God you are serving other with the gospel number six reason show love Hallelujah, showing love. Hallelujah. The Bible says, Go to God that they visit the sick, they visit those that are in prison, they fed those who are hungry, they give somebody something to drink. Because the Bible says, Much have you done it unto me. The least of these, you've done it unto me. He go to God. That's in uh, Matthew 25th chapter, verse uh, 46. As much as they've done it, the least of these my brethren who have done it unto me so we gotta visit 
Hallelujah, those in prison, visit those in the hospital, and feed those that are hungry, and give water to those that are thirsty. As much as it did to release it, one of these, you have done it unto me. I'm talking about 10 reasons how to experience God. We yeah, experience God. You experience God not by shouting. You experience God not by speaking in tongues. But you experience God by serving what love. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. By showing love. That's how you know you experience God. Hallelujah. How, brothers, how can you say you love God who you haven't seen but you hate your brother you see every day? Hallelujah. God is love. And we must demonstrate love. Hey, go to God. Hallelujah. Demonstrate love. Hallelujah. If you see somebody needs some food, give them something to eat. If see somebody needs some clothes, give them the best. Don't give them the, the trifle less. Give them the best. Don't give them the trifle less. Don't give somebody the holes in their clothes. Don't give somebody the holes in their shoes. Give them the best. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Offer, we gotta do these things. Hey, glory to God. And the seventh thing, and the seventh thing you must do is search the scriptures. For in it they think you have eternal life. We are search the scriptures. How to know God or experience God? You gotta search the scripture. And if you think, hey, glory to God, is they are testify about me. Hallelujah. And the eighth reason, you're not a sellout for Satan. Yes, you're not a sellout for Satan. You are, glory to God. You are a sellout for Jesus. Yeah, I'm not a sellout for Satan. Hey, I want a sellout for Satan. I'm so glad you asked. People that serve God only on Sunday. They are Sunday only saint. They part-time lovers. If you can't have, if God can't have you a hundred percent, he don't want you part-time. He don't want you lukewarm. He wants you hot. He wants you cold. But lukewarm, he say, you make me sick. He will vomit. He will rebuke you from his sight. Hallelujah. I'm talking about, go to God. God wants you to be sell out for him. Not for Satan. Hallelujah. There ain't no room in my life for Satan. But there's room in my life for Jesus Christ. I'm a full-time Christian. I'm not a part-time. On weekdays, I serve God. And weekends, I serve God. People serve God on the weekends. They're a weekend saint. Yes, they're weak. Yeah? Yeah? Weak. W-E-A-K. Saint. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. It's time to be a, a full-time Christian for Jesus. Are you a full-time Christian? Be honest. I'm going to tell you how to be a full-time Christian. You be a full-time Christian by searching the scripture. You be a full-time Christian by studying the word of God. You be a full-time Christian by serving God. You be a good-time Christian, full-time Christian, hallelujah, by showing love. And by full-time Christian, you let the Holy Ghost rule and regulate your life. Hallelujah. How to experience God for yourself. Hallelujah, glory to God. Hope you enjoy my tape, my, my, my video. Glory to God. That I mentioned about guns and God. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Number nine reason. Hey, glory. Being a living sacrifice to God. Being holy and living a clean life. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Talk about holiness without no man. Glory to God shall see the Lord. I tell you, no man shall see the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you, are you a full-time Christian? Hallelujah. Her sacrifice. When I was I be 60, but I urge you, brethren, by the mercy of God, that you present your body as a living sacrifice. Holy. God wants you holy. Ha! Ah, glory to God. Holy. We should read, sir, be a conformed as well, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. God wants you to be holy. Because if you're unholy, God can't use you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. A living sacrifice. Are you a living? God don't want a dead sacrifice. God don't want no leftover like Cain did and he slew his brother Abel because Abel gave him the best. He gave him the living. He gave him the first fruit. Hallelujah, and Cain got rejected and he, he slew his brother. I'm talking about 
how to experience God for yourself. God wants you holy. God wants you sacrifice. What are you sacrificing for God? God wants your body. God don't want your tithes and offering. You can't buy God. How close to God? He made God enough for sale. Hallelujah. And the last one. Hey, go to God. And this one is this one is gonna be tight, but it's right. Is called separation. Are you separating yourself? Yes, yeah, separation, my friend. I ain't say hallelujah it's supremacy. I say separate. Separate. How you separate? Separation don't mean don't be away from people. It means that you are different. That means you're dressed different. The conversation is different. Hallelujah. You don't dress like an Uchibaba. You don't dress like a person ready to have sex every time you come out the door. You wear your tight clothes and your tight pants and oh boy, you got your tight shirt and you got tattoo on your you got tattoo on your breast and want people to look at your tattoo on your breast. You are different. Hallelujah, you are royal priesthood. We are queens and, and kings for God. Hallelujah. Separation, my friend. He probably said, come out from among them and be separate, said Lord. Touch the other unclean thing, and I will receive you unto myself. How to experience God for yourself? Hallelujah. It's time. Hallelujah. Separate. How come out from among them? Come out from the world. The world ain't your friend. The Bible said the world hates me. Hallelujah. They hate me without a cause. The world hates you. Because you're Christian. The world hates you because you're different. Don't think the world is buddy buddy with you. No, the world you work with the world, but you don't whore with the world. How oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible talk about there were ten virgins. Hey, glory to God. Five was wise and five was foolish. Now, the wise took their lamp and they took their oil. And then the virgins, virgin mean that they, they were Christians. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible say, the foolish took their lamp and took the oil in their lamp. Typical Christian. I mean, they just, just come to church. They are fans. They are fans for Jesus. God don't want no fans. God wants followers. So the Bible say, there were five was wise and fire was foolish and the Bible say these are the fans and the followers I'm talking about it's time for you to experience God for yourself and it's amazing in our world we got a lot of people go to church hey glory to God they go to church for a show they go to church for themselves. And they go to church not to serve God. They go to church, oh, go to God to look friendship rather than a relationship with Jesus. What the Bible say, go to God. Five was wise and five was foolish. I feel like preaching and I'm preaching right now. Hey, go to God. Now these five virgins, hey, go to God. Hallelujah. They had a lamp. Hallelujah. And they had oil. In their lamp, hey, glory to God, hallelujah. As a many time people they in church and they think that they don't need the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the keeping power. Don't be fooled because somebody dance and shout and speak in tongue, they are filled. Don't be fooled because hallelujah, there anybody can dance, but a lot of people can't live right. Oh, glory to God, hallelujah. I feel like preaching, I'm preaching right now. Hey, glory to God. And amazing the people go to God hallelujah they are wise and they're foolish the Bible say a wise man build his house his house upon the rock and when the flood came and beat upon the house the house stayed because the Bible said the house is on a rock 
But the Bible said a foolish man, he built his house upon the sand. When trouble comes, he just slid away. He's gone by and by. Hey, glory to God. How do you build your house, preacher? I build my house for the rock. The rock is Jesus. Hey, glory to God. The rock. Jesus Christ came. He told Peter, upon this rock, I build my church. And the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. I'm telling somebody how to experience experience God for yourself. We are suffering the crowd because the Bible says many are called but few hallelujah are chosen. I'm talking about few are chosen. God called many people. The church is crowded but crowd is not going. Hey poor to God. Hallelujah. I say crowd is not going. You gotta live right. You gotta talk right. Hey go to God. Treat everybody with respect. Because why preacher? Because you are different. We don't love like the world. The world love with condition but Christian we love unconditional because God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So the Bible said these foolish virgins they went out to buy they went back to the church and try to tarry for the Holy Ghost. They went back to say, Holy Ghost, where are you? And the Bible say, they didn't get the Holy Ghost. And they came knocking. Yes, they came knocking. And then Jesus said, I never knew you. Depart from me. He woke us off a negative. I'm telling you, if you don't follow my list of how to experience God, you will never experience God. You experience emotionalism. You will experience the spirit. You will experience the feelings. But God is not a feeling God. You can't feel God. Glory to God. It's about faith. It's not about feeling. God and Jesus Christ told his disciples, these things I spoke unto you, and me and my have peace in the world. Be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. But it say that in verse number one, it say that these things I spoke unto you, be not offended in me. They shall put you out of the synagogue. They will kill you. And think they're doing God's service. What I'm saying to you as watching my video, I might not got all the eyes. I might not cross all the T's. I might not pronounce the words, adjectives, and verbs. The one thing I knew, I know God. One thing I know, hallelujah, I experience God. I experience God, hallelujah. When I'm sick, I experience God. Hey, go to God. When I'm saved, I experience God. When I show my love by posting video every day and telling you, go if you're not saved, get saved. If you're not sanctified, get sanctified. If you're not separated, get separated. Because one day, he's coming back. Hallelujah. The Bible says, go to in, in, in Acts Chapter 1, verse 9 through 11. The Bible says, when Jesus Christ went up in a cloud, the angels say, men of, men of Galilee, why you stay gazing up into heaven? The same Jesus, I say the same Jesus, shall come in like matters, as you saw him go up into heaven. The Bible says, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. To the glory of God the Father. He's Lord. He go to God on your job. He's Lord in your home. He's Lord. A lot of sinner man that you're talking to. I say he's Lord and he's coming back again. Are you ready? Go to God. Are you ready to meet him? One day, hallelujah, you're gonna crack the sky and the Bible says every eye. 
going to see him. Even they that pierced him on the side. He said, one, hallelujah. All or two going to be in the bed. One be taken and the other left. Two women grinding at the mill. Not having sex now. Glory to God. Not lesbian. But it was grinding at the mill. One be taken and the other be left. The Bible says, don't let your hallelujah be the winner. Hallelujah. I stop by and tell somebody, experience God for yourself. Learn God for yourself. Learn to pray for yourself. Because one day, my friend, go to God, he will come. The Bible says, he will come a thief in the night. When you say peace and safety, sudden destruction come upon this earth. He's coming back. That's why I'm doing my video every day to warn you of the soon coming king. I'm warning you. Hey, go to God in a video. Go to God called Guns and God. My friend, look at God. People worship guns and they forget about God. You don't need to carry no gun. You got God. Hallelujah. God become your battle act in a time of storm. He become your savior when you can't save yourself. He go to God. But in conclusion, hallelujah, how to experience God for yourself. Hallelujah. My friend, the Bible says, save yourself for this untoward generation. Save you. Hallelujah. I've been selfish. Hallelujah. When, hallelujah. When they came out of Solomon Gomorrah, Hallelujah. And Lot told his wife, don't look back. And the Bible says, say she looked back and turned a pill of salt. The Bible says in Hebrew, we are not to them that look back unto perdition, but to the saving of our soul. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Save yourself. Save yourself. Stop following the crowd. My friend, don't follow people. You want to follow Christ. Because the Bible says, looking unto Jesus, the author who saved you, the author and the finisher of your faith, for the joy that was set before him. Endure the cross, the Father shame, and is set right at the right hand of God. Wherefore we're comforted about with so great a cloud of witnesses. Hallelujah. I'm so glad for the Bible. I'm so glad. Ha ha. Hallelujah. Trouble don't last long. But I'm so glad for the manual. I'm so glad for the mirror. And I'm so glad for the road map. Oh, glory to save yourself from the untoward generation it's time to know God for yourself brother excuse me it's time to know God for yourself sister it's time to know God for yourself hallelujah because no foolish virgins hallelujah they're trying to got the audacity say give me some of your oil what you been doing all your all your life in church now you're asking me for my Holy Ghost? You're asking me to share my oil with you? No, I can't do that. It's not enough for me and you, but go and buy and buy and get your own. It's time for us to know God as individual. Because when we judge, God going to judge us as an individual. You want to tell an angel, angel, get the book. And if your name not written, if your name is not in the book Lamb of Life, he won't say go to hell. If you never heard, if you hear people say go to hell, they, they ain't got the audacity to put you to hell. They got the audacity to put you in heaven. Only God got the key of death and hell. So my friend, when you stand before God, there gonna be no second chance. If your name not on the road, if you're not RSVP, if you're not RSVP, you can't go to the banquet. He told one of the servants, friend, where comest thou not having a wedding garment on? And the Bible say, he told him to cast him in the outer darkness. They should be weeping and gnashing of teeth.
He said, what friend, what comest thou? Not having a wedding garment on. And the Bible say, he put him in the outer darkness and be weeping and gnashing of teeth. What I'm saying to you, it's time to know God for yourself. Yes, it's time to know God for yourself. Hallelujah, because you're going to stand before God as individual and get judged. And if you can't say the group, no, it's you. It's a you. When you point to people, your thumb identify you also. That's why you can't cast stone. If you cast stone, cast righteous judgment. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my video. Until then, may God bless you richly in knowing God for yourself. May God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe, my friend. I'm close to the mark of traveling the continent of the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. May God bless you richly is my prayer. Peace. God bless.